So in any employee-employer relationship that is not working out, there's a period at which you're both trying to make it work. Mm -hmm. And then there's a period at which you decide it's not going to work. At that point, the dynamic somewhat changes, and you have to figure out how to communicate that insight to the employee in a way that they're going to understand so that they can learn from this and so that the rest of the team knows that there's actually a thoughtful process to get to that point. Because the worst thing for the rest of the team is for them to feel like getting fired is random. Mm -hmm. So how do you then prepare for that conversation? The first thing you have to do is you have to talk to the other people involved who work with that person. So for example, um, in my current business, I talked, I, we had a product manager who I fired after three months. And I talked to my co-founder, CTO, and I talked to two other engineers who he had worked with beforehand just to make sure that I was seeing things clearly. I had a view, do they, what's their view of this person's ability to contribute for our company at this stage? Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with them as a human being, has nothing to do with how successful they could be at a, in a different context. They could, it's just maybe not the right match. And by the way, they know it too, right? People are generally smart enough to realize when it's not working out. And they're struggling, and no one wants to be in that situation. So what I did is make a list of the different specific things where I had asked this person to do this thing and what had been the result. Mm -hmm. And have very specific examples. So for example, uh, we said we wanted to have a closed beta test on this day and we didn't have it until th three weeks later. Like very specific, concrete mm. examples. And somehow by being able to bring up three or four concrete examples like that, it helps the person ground a difficult emotional experience with uh, reality, mm. and therefore understand the decision. 